क्वेश्चन है शो दैट एन स्क्वायर माइनस वन इज डिविजिबल बाय एट इफ एन इज एन ऑड पॉजिटिव इंटीजर सो इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन ऑड पॉजिटिव इंटीजर इफ यू गो थ्रू ऑड पॉजिटिव इंटीजर इज ऑफ द फॉर्म फोर क्यू प्लस वन फोर क्यू प्लस थ्री ऑड पॉजिटिव इंटीजर इज ऑफ द फॉर्म टू क्यू प्लस वन so we have two cases two possibilities yes yeah, or no so odd number odd number can be of these two can be of these two cases either 2q plus 1 or 4q plus 1 4q plus 3 yes yeah, or no now which one should i choose that's the problem and that is the major problem of all the students let me tell you this is sir how do i get to know whether i should choose 2 cube plus 1 or 4 cube plus 1 series so i always tell them you choose both and you will be able to get it so if i take this thing that means my n value is 2 cube plus 1 So n square minus one, two q plus one whole square minus one. If I do whole square thing, a square plus b square plus two ab. So four q square plus one plus four q minus one. This get cancelled. So four q plus one. Sorry, four q plus four q, and four q common. You get q plus one. Are we getting anything eight as common? Are we getting eight common? No. So that means it is not divisible by eight. Yes. It is divisible by four. Um. If the question was if it is divisible by four, then I will take this number. Yeah, is this thing clear? Yes. Yeah. Same question can come. Show that n square minus one is divisible by four. Then I will take this two cube plus one. Now, if I take these two, let n equals to four cube plus one. That is my case number one. now let us see what will happen so n square minus 1 was the question i will again apply the identity all q plus 1 whole square minus 1 so 4 q square a square plus b square plus 2 ab i hope my voice is clear yes 16 q square plus 1 plus 8 q minus 1 just stop me if you find any step difficult 16 q square plus 8 q what is common 8 q common it is common yeah 2 q plus 1 so can you see 8 is common yes yes so we will write as Eight is the common factor. Therefore, n square minus one is divisible by eight. Then. N equals to four q plus one. Is that thing clear? Yes. Yes. That means odd number should be in the form of four q plus one. So four q plus one. What does it mean? If I put one over here, I will get eight plus one. Nine. Okay. So. 
sorry, four q plus one. If I put one over here, it will give me five. That's an odd number. Yes or no? Yes. If I put one, I will get five. Now n square minus one. So this is n. So five square minus one is what? Twenty-five minus one, twenty-four. Can you see it is divisible by eight? Hmm. So we don't need to show all of this. I was just explaining it to you. What do, what do they mean by this thing? Anyway, let us go for case number two. So case two. Let n equals to 4q plus 3. Okay. Again, n square minus 1. 4q plus 3 whole square minus 1. 4q square plus 3 square. 2 multiplied by 4q multiplied by 3 minus 1. So 16q square. Plus nine, uh, six, uh, what is twenty four q minus one. So sixteen q square, twenty four q plus eight. I'm just solving nine and minus one. Eight. Can you see? Still, I'm getting eight as common. Two q square. 3q plus 1. 8 as common. So I will write this thing again. I have 8 as common factor. n square minus 1 is divisible by 8. When n is equals to 4q plus 3. So we will write the final statement. Therefore, n square minus 1 is Divisible by eight. Is the question clear? So you yes, don't sir. need to you don't need to do this part. This part you have to do only if it is four given. Okay. Yes. Because four can also come. They can ask you show that n square minus 1 is divisible by 4 also. If you note it, we will continue the rest of the questions in another class.